Hello and welcome to my channel Green Line Goddess Tarot. We have the Queen of Cups. Here we have the beautiful card of the archetypal archetypal mother and the Queen of Cups. The card represents Cancer, the sign Cancer, but it is about nurturing and looking after yourself and you might be feeling like a little bit of that at this moment in time, but it can quite literally represent your mother or being a mother. So yeah, this is your reading for the 21st of March, which is the Aries New Moon. So there might be something that you are wanting to nurture that's coming in on this day. A lot of water with the Queen of Cups, so I think that that's kind of still a little bit of a leftover of the Pisces season. Very much what is it that you are healing and nurturing within yourself emotionally at this moment in time, which actually feels like it, it feels very gentle and it, it feels actually like just be kind to yourself, do something special for yourself with the Queen of Cups. She's infused with peace and compassion, this beautiful Queen of Cups energy and forgiveness, the spirit of forgiveness as well. So yes, very nice energy. This beautiful Queen of Cups is coming in and I feel like it's the universe saying, nurture yourself, look after yourself, be gentle with yourself, be kind to with yourself at this moment in time. So let's see what else is coming through. So very much still in the watery realms with the Queen of Cups and I'm just gonna get the right energy frequency into the cards. So as you know, Aries is the first sign of the zodiac. So the new moon is happening right at the very start of Aries season. And there's actually two new moons in Aries this month, which is very unusual and kind of exciting. And so the second one is going to be an eclipse. We have the Ace of Pentacles. Okay, this is, again, the thing that you are wanting to nurture and look after. The Ace of Pentacles, the new path opens up. So let's see what is coming in around this. We'll get the full picture. The Two of Pentacles, you might be a little bit ambivalent around this. It may be a bit of a juggling act that there's something new has activated and has required a little bit of balancing. And so it is saying, look after yourself, nurture yourself. Let's see what else is coming through for the Aries new moon. Okay. We've got the Queen of Wands. Okay, we've moved from the Queen of Cups to the Queen of Wands. So she's handing over to the Queen of Fire, the Aries season. And the Four of Pentacles. Okay, she's like, this is my problem. I'm handing it over to you. We've reached to the two and the Queen is like, okay. <laughs> so whatever this thing is on the material realm with the Pentacles, the Temperance energy is saying that really what's needed at this moment in time is patience, balance, and understanding that you know, you are dipping your toe into the water quite literally with the Queen of Cups. There's something new on the horizon that you kind of, like I said, that your energy could be feeling a bit stretched or there's a bit of a balancing act in terms of bringing this in. So on the it's something on the material realm. So it could be around your home. There could be new uh, work or some sort of new cycle around work or money that could be coming through. This could be to do with your health as well with the Queen of Cups and the Temperance Energy represents health, healthy balances, looking after yourself. There's this very nurturing and nourishing energy. So it's almost like the Queen of Cups is saying to the Queen of Wands, this is what I've the new things that are coming in that I'm bringing in to restore harmony and balance in my life in some way. Although even the idea of bringing it in has been a balancing act in itself. Something's a little bit out of balance with it. And so the temperance energy is all about making elements work in your world that aren't necessarily, don't necessarily go that well together. And water and fire don't necessarily go that well together with the Queen of Cups and the Queen of Wands, but they're working together. So this could be a Cancer or water sign, Scorpio, Pisces. This could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, working, having to kind of resolve and work out your differences or work out how these two different elements are working in your life. Because we're seeing here with the Temperance card, yeah, you're dipping your toe into the water. The Queen of Cups is there. But it is this sense of those two cups are the two different elements that are working and finding the balance between them and restoring the harmony and a realignment is coming in. And I guess also the thing is that we're kind of, it's equinox energy as well at this time. There's a lot happening. So it's like a handover energy from water to fire. And then there's a rebalancing, making all these elements work. 
And then there's a sense of, yeah, wanting to restore some kind of balance with something that's been out of balance. And that's, you know, the equinox is very much talking about balance. Um, so that's a big theme that comes through with that. And the temperance card is patience. Things are shifting and changing form. There is a slow alchemy to all of this uh, and alchemy and alignment. And the temperance energy is also, I had something in my head and I've forgotten what it was. But yeah, it's about, I can't remember what it is now, completely. I've been having that of late. Just I think, you know, everybody's been a bit tired with the end of um, the whole Pisces season and the energies that are around at this moment in time. But yeah, it might come to me, the temperance energy. So this could be, say, for example, the Ace of Pentacles if you, is you've just started a new job and it's a bit of a balancing act. Perhaps you've got two jobs or you've got a job and a side hustle or perhaps you're realising that you do need to start a new job and it's it's or you're wanting to look for a new job or you're looking for a new housing situation and whatever it is that's going on with this Ace of Pentacles here, it's potentially just saying look after yourself with it. So then the beautiful Queen of Wands comes in. We moved into Aries season and she's like, okay, thank you for handing over this energy to me. I see what has begun, these new and new things that you are nurturing in your life. And I'm going to look for opportunity. I'm going to search out and set an intention for this to move forward positively and to set a good foundation in my life, which is that four of pentacles. And to not be scared, that's an important thing, to build a good foundation to, but to not be scared about what it is that I'm creating and building in my life. And this is very much moving into the Aries new moon, which happens on the 21st or 22nd, depending on where you are in the world. So we might get a little bit more of this tomorrow as well, because it feels like we've just handed over to it. And that's a really great time because it's the start of the Zodiac to set a new intention for the year. And it feels like it's got a lot to do with what's going on in your material world, your material realm. So set a really positive intention when it comes to something that's been out of balance, especially when it's something to do with, uh, yeah, your work, your home career or your health. So that's something that's coming through with that. And she's like, yep, I'm building a positive foundation here. So I think this is a really great time to be just taking it easy, not too hard on yourself. That This Queen of Wands will be a little bit more fiery with things, and but it's about the Divine Feminine here with the two queens coming in and the Divine Feminine kind of supporting you when it comes to this thing that you're nurturing and growing in the masculine. So it really feels like, again, it's those two elements of balance between the divine feminine and the divine masculine, the, all the elements wanting to kind of work together again. And so it can be any kind of element or aspect in your life. Maybe it's something that's been out of balance within a relationship as well. You know, that's something that could be coming in as well. But Either way, I think that the Queen of Wands, I get this sense of getting kind of quite deeply motivated by something. So she kind of is very discerning and says, what is it that I really want from this situation and how can I create that? So it very much is about you're creating your own reality, but it's very, you know, happening in this very beautiful slow patient energy is what comes with it it's a new moon so it's a dark moon it's about those seeds that are being planted whether you're consciously aware of them or not and you can be very consciously aware of them with these two queens about what's going on inside of you and they come with the beautiful temperance energy as well so this is a really really nice time to set that intention and say, you know, whatever it is that's coming in that this Queen of Wands is building a really great, great foundation, I want it to be something that can nurture and nourish me as well with that Queen of Cups, something that potentially I'm finding fulfilling or something that's good for my health or something that's good for me emotionally. So I see this as a very, very positive time to set a beautiful intention to restore some sort of balance in your world. So that is the reading for the 21st. Look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Please like, subscribe, share, leave a comment. Love to read your comments and that helps with the algorithm and helps the channel grow. And if you're interested in checking out the beautiful Patreon community that we are building at this moment in time, love to have you on board. The link for that is also in the description box below. And yeah, take care.